there's so much frosty cream in between. Aren't Oreo kids lucky? Aren't Oreo mothers great? It's been an important part of childhood for generations. The venerable Oreo cookie. A product with such cultural longevity that to this day, people still talk about their favorite way to eat it. Tilt your head at a 45 degree angle to make sure you lick all the cream off. I take the cream and I lick it down the middle. I notice that there's now a streak that runs through it. The Oreo is one of the world's most popular brands with one and a half billion dollars in global annual revenue. It's now sold in over 100 countries and it all began here in New York City at what is now the Chelsea Market. A hundred years ago on this very spot, the first Oreo cookie was made. This of course was the original Nabisco Bakery. The parent company responsible for those classic chocolate wafers joined together by a vanilla cream filling. When Oreos began being sold uh, 100 years ago, they were sold in tins like this in bulk. And the very first Oreo cookie sales were recorded in Hoboken, New Jersey on March 6, 1912. It's not just Oreos that have stood the test of time. Cornflakes have been around since 1896. Campbell's Soup was founded in 1877. And Jell-O, this one's over 110 years old. Marketing experts say it takes skill for a brand to last through good times and bad. They've been able to balance consistency and change. Uh, it's original, it's authentic, but they've kept it fresh. They've kept pace with the changing times. Indeed, social media is now an important part of Nabisco's marketing mix. Oreo has its own Facebook page with more than 25 million followers. You made a mess. I did make a mess. <laughs> I did. Kraft, the owner of the Oreo brand, works hard to keep the product fresh at its research kitchens in New Jersey. What you'll see here is a variety of different flavors. Ideas, some of them we've heard from our consumers over the years. Rainbow sherbet. Rainbow sherbet. You have toasted coconut, lemon, orange tangerine. Kraft also takes care to cater to each new global market. It's a smaller pack size to fit the uh, size of the smaller stores in China. But across the world, one thing stays the same. The classic way to eat an Oreo. Twist open the cookie. Twist open the cookie. You might want to lick out a little bit of the cream. And then if you're a milk fan, okay. you can dunk it right in the milk. Who knew I'd be making an Oreo cookie? Thumbs up. This is better than straight out of the package, for sure. No matter how you make it or how you eat it, one thing is clear. To last 100 years, you must be one smart cookie. A good cookie. <laughs> Felicia Taylor, CNN, New York.